It's day three since the new health exchanges came online. There are still some delays and glitches with the websites, but one big company is getting a shot in the arm. This is Tenet Healthcare. The stock of this big hospital operator jumped 5.5% today and is up about 15% this week following its deal to buy Vanguard Health Systems. Investors are also encouraged that Tenet has a winning strategy to deal with the new health care laws. Joining us now, we're happy to have Tenet CEO Trevor Fetter. Mr. Fetter, so nice to have you on the program. It's very nice to be here. Thanks for inviting me. So for all the drama and uncertainty about the Affordable Care Act that's going on in Washington, you're still going ahead and behaving as this act is going to become law. What is your strategy? Well, the strategy is actually rather straightforward. Uh, it's very important in this environment to deliver greater value to our customers, and that comes in the form of increasing levels of clinical quality and lower costs. Uh, Affordable Care Act or not, we would have pursued that strategy. Some of the things we're doing a little bit differently are preparing ourselves uh, to be positioned very effectively for the increasing numbers of people who have health insurance. And you have been signing up on contracts with a lot of these insurance exchanges so that you'll be part of their networks for uninsured Americans. From what's been going on this week so far, how's it going? Well, actually, that's an effort that we've been undertaking for nearly a year now. Uh, we were enthusiastic early on about the potential for these exchanges. We thought it would be a very consumer-friendly, transparent uh, way that people would begin to buy insurance uh, for their health, just much in the way as they buy many other things over the Internet or in marketplaces. And so we uh, actively engaged with insurance companies uh, beginning, you know, virtually a year ago so that we would be in network in these insurance programs that are being offered on the exchanges. And I'm very pleased that in about 80 percent of our uh, markets, we're in some of the most competitively priced insurance plans that are offered on the exchanges. The other part of your strategy, as I see it, is that you've been also buying up a lot of hospitals. The Vanguard Health deal is just the latest one that adds something like 26 hospitals. Um, you know, some would argue that in this new landscape, having these huge hospital systems might not be the best way to keep costs down and keep quality of health care up. Um, you know, tell us how, what your plan is here. Well, is I, is I, bigger <clears throat> better, I guess I'm asking you. Yes, bigger is definitely better. Uh, this has been a very fragmented cottage industry for a very long time. And when you're a bigger system, and we're one of the largest in the United States, uh, we're able to take the technology that we use to improve clinical quality and apply it across a bigger platform. We're able to drive efficiencies in the administrative parts of healthcare, which, as you know, are very significant. We can drive efficiencies in the supply chain, in the revenue cycle, and other areas that either don't affect patient care or they enhance the quality of a patient's experience in our hospitals. So I would argue very strongly that bigger is better, and it's about time that this industry has begun to consolidate. You know, last night we had the CEO of the Cleveland Clinic on, and he said that because of a drop-off in revenues, because of the way health care is changing, that they're going to have to cut, you know, more than $300 million in their costs, possible layoffs. Is Tenet at some point going to have to do the same thing? Well, we've been cutting costs relentlessly for, you know, the past nine years. In fact, our cost performance has been among, among the best uh, in the industry. Uh, I did see that interview last night, and I think uh, part of the point that Toby was trying to make is that this industry for three years now has been dealing with fairly you know, significant cuts in Medicare, much of which was designed to pay for the Affordable Care Act, or at least contribute our fair share to the Affordable Care Act. And uh, hospitals are going to be under relentless cost pressure for the foreseeable future. And once again, you know, scale helps you deal with that. All right. Well, good luck to you. Thank you so much for coming on the program. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. Trevor uh, Fetter, he is the CEO of Tenet Healthcare.